Hello, 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 welcome, welcome, welcome. So on this Friday night menu, I have decided to have an indomie night. So this is where I upscale my um, noodles. So these are indomie, very popular amongst the Nigerian community and others, I'm sure. But yeah, so we're going to up, be upscaling this tonight, guys. If you're interested, do continue watching and let's get started. Okay, so what do I have? Right, I've got some water here coming to the boil. So it had boiled previously, but I got busy and so it's cooled down. So I'm going to let that water come to a boil. And then I'm going to blanch these without the sachets. The sachets, sachet. You know what I mean, the little packet things that come with it. So there, and then let me show you the rest of the ingredients. So we're after a quick one tonight, guys. So I've got some onions there. I've got two types. Um red or pink or purple whatever you want to call it and i've got some spring onion there and then for the um, meat i've got mixture actually i've got some bacon and i've got some prawn so obviously that would really be meat would it that's seafood but it's a mix just to stir fry with what i had so and then i've got some vegetables to go with it so i picked this up at lidl it's called oriental stir fry bowl and it's got a mixture of pieces of some oriental type vegetables in it. I've got some spinach stems, my new favorite. I'm not called the spinach queen for nothing. <laughs> and I've got a red pepper here. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're gonna put some heat underneath here. I'm still waiting for this water to boil back again. I didn't realize it would take so long. But well, never mind, the noodles themselves do not take long to cook. So I'm just going to let that dry out. In fact, I'm not even going to bother with that because I'm going in with the bacon. So I'm going to let that until all, it all sizzles out, the fat comes out. So we're going to let that go like that. Well, okay, guys, the water is boiled. Guess what I did? <laughs> I forgot to tell you that I've got some mushrooms. So I've just washed them. I'm just drying them. So I'm going to slice those while the bacon is cooking down. So I'm going to go in there now with this. Yeah, I tend to break up my noodles. I don't really like all that long slurpy stuff. So obviously that is not compulsory. So these are the little sachet things I was talking about. I don't use them. So I find that the noodles themselves have got enough flavour and salt in them. And then obviously I'm cooking with bacon, so... Ah, the struggle with this packet is real, guys. I honestly, I struggle with it every time. So, right. There you go. So this is bringing out all its water. So in the meantime, I'm going to slice the onions. And when that comes back to the boil, I'm going to drain it off. Right, okay, so all the water has come out of the bacon now. I've drained my noodles. I told you they only take like two minutes to cook. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in here with the onions. This is where it's going to get quick now. And I'm literally just going to put everything in. Right, so. That's the onions in there. Bacon and onion, what a combination. Haha. <laughs> so obviously you could use any protein, any meat of your choice. Um, this works well. I've done it with chicken before. Chicken and prawns are quite nice. Or you can leave the prawns out and just have chicken or just have prawns. And it would also work well with just mushrooms. So, there you go. Give you some several options there. So. Alright, I'm going to let that bacon sort of crisp up a little bit. Okay, so there you go. This is going nicely. So now I'm going to go in with my mushrooms. And this 
this is it now. Everything else is going to be done on high, high heat. So I've got mushrooms in there now. Turn the heat up a little bit. Oh, and I'm going to go in with the red peppers. I could have put them in at the same time as the onions, actually, but I forgot. All right, so as that's stirring up, Okay, so I've got my garlic and ginger going in there. So that was like two cloves of garlic and just a little bit of ginger, just like that. No, I beg your pardon, that was three cloves of garlic in there actually. I like garlic guys, what can I say? So that goes in there like that. Okay, so that's that done there. So now I'm literally going to put everything else in. So I'm going to go in with the rest of my veg, which is this packet thing I bought. So you can see it's got carrots in there. It's got um, bean sprouts, all sorts. I will say my language, orishi, <laughs> orishi. I'm now going to go in with my seasoning as well. We'll turn that round. So, for my seasoning, I've got here chili pepper, black pepper, mixed, no, um, a little bit of cinnamon and some allspice. Okay. So that's going in there like that. Now, one mistake I have made is that I just chopped the water from the noodles out by mistake. Um, I meant to keep some, but never mind. What I will do is just use ordinary water. I'm going to go with a little bit of water here. It's usually best to keep some of the noodle water because of the starch in there, which sort of makes the sauce all nice and creamy. <coughs> Excuse me. Seems to be going to the back of my throat there. Right, so now we're going with the rest of the stuff. <coughs> this is the spinach. The prawns. So those prawns really, I just bought them. They're sort of like ready cooked. This is Friday night fair. And then, lastly, well, actually, I've got a couple of things left here, but I'm going to go in now with the noodles. So, there you go. If I'd bought sort of like ordinary noodles, I probably would have rinsed them in cold water. But because I'm not using the sachets, I didn't want to get rid of the flavour, so... Right, there you go. So in that goes there. Right. I'm just going to let that cook down for a minute. Or so. I'm going to get ready to serve this now. This is nearly done. how nice and vibrant these colors are and the other thing i like about this dish as well is because to be honest you could easily have just bought that packet vegetable and be done with it but it's nice to add your own sort of flavor to it all right okay so that's that so now i'm gonna go right what i've got here i've got this little sauce thing so i've got in here can you see I've got there, um, what have I got? I've got two tablespoons of um, balsamic vinegar, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, one tablespoonful of sesame oil and some sesame seeds. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put that all over there now, there like that. Alright, 
So let's turn that round. This is it guys, it's done. And no word of a lie, this took less than 15 minutes to cook. So there you go. Um, if I was going to include the top it up time for the onions and the, well, the mushrooms, I did it here. So that doesn't really count. So probably, yeah, I would say 20 minutes altogether. So how about that? How about that? I have got here the green bits of the um, spring onions. So we're going to put that as a garnish on top. We're getting to be quite smooth these guys days now. <laughs> oh my lord, that's too funny to myself. Right, so let me show you. Heat off. Can you see? Would you make a Friday night stir fry like that? Would you? Would you? Like, what do you think? So, yeah. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you swap anything out. So, there you have it. That's about enough servants here to keep us going so i'm gonna get ready to plate off this thank you very much for watching i hope you have enjoyed this demonstration um yes what can i say be happy guys be happy this is happy food for me <laughs> it took me like i said i've just said how long it took me to make so be happy be kind be kind to yourself be kind to others okay and I will see you in the next demonstration. Thank you very much. Mwah.